Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing another craft. I am having so much fun doing these. Um, so we are just going to use these two things from Dollar Tree. Um, the plaid blanket is from the baby section of Dollar Tree. And the pumpkin, they sell those every year. And I got this one new from this year. And we're going to wrap this fabric onto the pumpkin. So what I'm doing here, um, which I'm a little bit off screen, is I was cutting just a section that was going to be big enough that I could work with. And so I'm going to then wrap this and glue this onto the pumpkin. Pretty simple. Um, this fabric covers the wordings um, so you can't really see and because this is like a fleece I am actually not going to do hot glue on the front because I don't want it to be bubbly um, I'm gonna just use this Gorilla Glue and then on the sides and the back I'm gonna use to um, use the hot glue I just don't want those bubbles if you ever used hot glue it can get a little bubbly um, so yeah, this seemed to work. And so you will just watch me here um, glue this piece down. And I'm wanting to make sure I keep the shape of the pumpkin. And then I will make, it's kind of like wrapping a present. Uh, you're just wrapping it around and I'm starting with the front because I want that to be the smoothest. If you guys have been um, watching any of my other videos, um, recently I've been really into crafts again um, and it's been just helping with my mental status of being at home with this pandemic and, and everything going on. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you are enjoying this as well. Um, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would really appreciate it as I'm, you know, moving along. I would love to hit 1,000 um, by the end of this year, but we'll see what happens. If you could just share some love and hit that subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, especially if you are enjoying my content. So here I was just uh, measuring and it was a little bit too long so I'm cutting a little bit off so it's not too bulky in the back and I am just going to smooth this out in the back and start hot gluing. This is a very um, easy project, in my opinion, uh, to do, and it's $2. Um, I did add my own ribbon. I have a couple of things on hand, um, and I thought it might be cute to add another bow, which, for some reason, the clip with me making the bow um, disappeared, but I just made like a bow and then I hot glued it on the top stem here in a, in a little bit. Um, but you just want to make sure you wrap your entire pumpkin with the fabric. You could even use paper. I've seen a lot of people use paper. Um, you could paint it, whatever. Um, I just found this fabric a while back um, in the baby section at the Dollar Tree and grabbed a whole bunch because I, I loved the Buffalo Neutral Gray uh, check. And so yeah, it worked out for this project for me. I really loved how the fleece actually gave it like a different texture which I haven't seen a lot of uh, these types of examples. I really just liked 
how it looked. It looked, you could tell it, it, it was fleece and it, it's so cute. It turned out so cute. Let me know if you uh, try this or if you use something different or if you've done this type of project before. I'm kind of curious um, what you guys did to these type of pumpkins. I know a lot of people um, get these every year and they do so many different things with them. Now I'm not covering the back of mine because I'm just going to prop it up where you won't see the back ever. But you could probably either cover the back or honestly to uh, make it smooth looking you could take like just a piece of gray paper and cut the uh, pumpkin and then glue that square piece of paper or cardboard behind the pumpkin and then it would have a finished look. But in my case nobody's going to be picking out my pumpkin and looking in the back of it. So I didn't do that extra step but you could definitely do that. So you just want to make sure all the corners and everything is secure in the back with that hot glue. And as you can see, there's no bumps on the front because I used that Gorilla Glue. Um, and I'm then just going to add this bow on top of the existing bow to give it a layered effect. Of course, I ran out of hot glue. <laughs> I was actually going to tie this onto the stem, but I decided to just hot glue it. So now I'm just kind of fluffing the bow uh, to make it more full. Be careful, the hot glue can get hot. <laughs> and here is the finished look. So uh, those are my little marshmallows I made in my previous uh, video. I'll have it linked up in the sky, eye in the sky. You can click on um, or you can go to my videos and see how I made that. But here is our finished pumpkin. I think it looks so cute with my decorations there. And I hope you enjoy this. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.